for joining me. I have no idea what my background looks like. I'm in that pre-holiday state of chaos known as sorting and packing and getting everything ready the day before you're going to leave. Um, yes, so I haven't tidied up, but I really, really wanted to film empties. This is this month's empties and a few new products to show you at the end that I've bought this month. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. I wish I could turn you around to see, but I've just balanced you precariously on top of them. <laughs> Yeah, several different things. Usual professional setup here. Um, so yeah, I wanted to film empties before I went away. It's the end of another month and um, let's just get on with it, shall we? It's empties and fails, to be precise. Um, we've got Kensington Hand Lotion by Nails Inc. Um, that was quite nice. I don't think I'd buy it again. It, it was pleasant enough, but not enough to make me think, oh, I must go and repurchase that straight away. So yeah, not too bad. Um, this is the Dove Summer Glow Body Lotion, which is one of those ones with a hint of fake tan in. It's the um, medium to dark skin one. I generally get that one because I find the one for light skin doesn't actually have any discernible effect or colour on me. So, yeah, that one. I do like that. It's, um, yeah, it's not the one that smells biscuity. It's the, um, what am I trying to say? God, this is what you get for going, I must film a video, I must film a video, I'm not even thinking about what you're going to say first. Um, yes, it was nice, it was good, it did what it said on the packet type of thing. Sip of coffee. Simple eye makeup remover. I've talked about this loads. Uh, my favourite eye makeup remover, nothing else can touch it in my opinion. It's cheap, it's effective, absolutely love it, will never be without it. This was a fail, this is from Superdrug's B range and it's the B Revealed Glycolic Cleansing Peel. It's effectively a mask and it's meant to be a exfoliating mask I guess because it's glycolic hated it it was absolutely useful i've hardly used any of it i think I, I have given it like half a dozen goes but it just did nothing there's a ren one which um is the glycolactic renewal mask which is absolutely fabulous I, i've had that before and talked about it in favorites and empties and all sorts and i bought this as sort of a cheaper alternative don't bother absolutely useless hated it did nothing it was a damning review wasn't it um a little garnier micellar water again i've talked about this i like this to take my makeup off um i'm sure i'll go back to it again i'm trying something different at the moment just for interest but yeah always a nice reliable good value for money makeup remover body shop that's the chamomile cleansing butter absolutely lovely oh yes i can still smell that um really really nice as a second cleanse I use this once I've taken my makeup off and it's it is a sort of buttery texture but not too greasy and really feels nourishing and nice and like all body, body bleh, like all body shop stuff it smells really nice and um, yeah definitely a good alternative to the more expensive cleansing balms the Emma Hardy and all that sort of thing really nice and I'll definitely buy that one again Sanctuary Spa, this was a body scrub. Um, I used to really like the smell of Sanctuary Spa stuff and I don't love it anymore. It was just okay, this one. It was quite gritty and it did quite a good job in terms of exfoliating. But yeah, the smell of this stuff, I've just kind of gone off. I think they need a bit of a revamp. Loved this. This is the Burt's Bees Coconut Foot Cream. Oh, we've gone dark. Or where we were dark anyway, I don't know. Um, yeah, Burt's Bees Coconut Foot Cream, really, really lovely. It's like a, almost a gel, but cream, greasier or creamier than a gel. I'm not explaining that very well, am I? It, what I'm trying to say is it says foot cream, but it's more greasy in texture. Is that what I'm trying to say? Yes, I think I am. But it smells really nice and coconutty and yeah, Probably one of my favourite ever foot creams and I will definitely buy it again. This was a 
What am I trying to say? Serum. It's from Aldi's La Cura range, which I'd heard a lot about. And um, I thought I'd buy it and give it a try. I thought it was okay. It didn't feel very serum-y. I like my serums to feel like a serum, that sort of serum texture, you know. That felt more like a moisturiser, really. I mean, nice packaging, glass bottle and everything. Not ideal for travel, but feels quite quality. Um, and it was okay. It's for mature skin. It, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd buy it again. I don't often go to Aldi anyway. We haven't got one particularly close to us and um, not my favourite place. But yeah, I thought, I thought it was just okay. This, on the other hand, which is the Garnier Ultra Lift um, Intensive Serum, I hated. Absolutely hated. It had a sort of pearl. It, it did have that serum-y texture although it was very, um, very slippy. I've forgotten the word. There's a word that I use quite often when I'm talking about primers. Silicone, that's the word I'm trying to say. Had that sort of silicone-y feel, but the finish of it was pearlized. It had sort of pinky shimmer in it, and I don't think a skincare product should have that, so that really annoyed me, and I didn't really feel like it was particularly nourishing or doing much, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend that one. Certainly not for older skins anyway. Um, Body Shop Pinita Colada Shower Gel. Loved this, really nice, really fun to use. And I used it as bubble bath as well. It was actually really good as bubble bath as well as shower gel. So um, I, so definitely um, a, a great product, really fun. When I used it as bubble bath, the whole bathroom smelled tropical and yeah, really, really lovely, enjoyed that. I finished a makeup product, a lip product. I don't know if that's ever happened before. <laughs> it's a Clinique Chubby Stick. Um, I think it was one that came free in a magazine. It's all completely gone right down to the tip, as you can see. It is in the shade Whopping Watermelon. And it was really nice. I like these. They're quite sheer on colour, but they feel quite nourishing and moisturising to use. So yeah, I'd definitely buy another one, but not until I finish some of my lip products. NARS foundation. I've talked about this in a get ready with me. It's the sheer glow. It's the wrong colour for me, which doesn't help. Bloody hated it. I didn't find it lasted well. Um, it was a little bit better when I mixed it with my Rimmel BB matte um, in terms of last, but I think that was down to the Rimmel rather than this stuff. Um, it broke up across my nose and down, down across my cheeks within a couple of hours of wearing and on my chin. Um, I hate the screw top. I hate that it doesn't have a pump. Would never recommend and would never buy again got some quite bad reviews this time haven't I the last of my sheet mask this was in a potato ultra hydrating essence mask potato flavored flavored whatever they all smelled much the same anyway whatever they said on there whether it was strawberry or snake or potato they had some weird ones but very nice I quite like a sheet mask this is a tiny little moisturizer that I think came in a glossy box sometime it's the h2o plus Face Oasis, and it was a sort of gel moisturiser. It was quite pleasant to use. Um, probably not heavy enough for me on a long-term basis, but yeah, not too bad at all. This was lovely. It's from the Emma Hardy uh, Moringa range, and it's the Amazing Face Hydra Body Oil. Um, just sm smell, ugh, smells so lovely. Love this stuff. Um, yeah, can't speak highly enough of it. Um, I don't know if I, but I, I go on and off body oils. I kind of like them and I kind of don't, but the actual smell of that would encourage me to use it, definitely. Um, this is a facial moisturiser. It's Melon and Guts, who are the um, sun cream people. I think they made sun cream originally. It's vitamin E face moisturiser. It, it was fine, it was okay. Nothing more to say about it than that, really. Um, this is a blusher. I might have talked about this in a get ready with me. Um, it's Lord and Berry. No, it's not. Yes, it is Lord and Berry, and the colour is Lotus. That's what it looks like. Um, I've given it a good go. It was quite a nice colour. It wasn't particularly easy to work with to diffuse and get um, the, the same amount of colour everywhere. It didn't blend well. 
Caroline just say blend well it didn't blend well and it was really difficult to get because it's so little and in this plastic thing it was another glossy box thing it was difficult to get your brush into and yeah so that will go in the box of makeup to be passed on to my niece um Blistex intensive lip moisturizer um love this stuff but probably this and Carmex are probably my favourite lip balms that actually heal as opposed to just moisturising. So I'll definitely be buying this one again, but I've got quite a few lip balms to get through first. And finally, this is a very well used brow powder palette. It's by Vivo. You can't see it anymore because... It's the Vivo Ultimate Brow and Eye Kit. I don't think you can even buy it anymore. I don't think Vivo Cosmetics are in the UK anymore. Um... I'm preferring something gel or pencil based. The pet, it's fallen apart. I've had a good go at it. I've hit pan on the two colours that I use. And yeah, it's just time for that one to move on now. So that was all my empties. There were quite a lot this month. I feel like I did quite well at getting through stuff. So yeah, it's always nice to see lots of bottles going out. Still quite a lot to be used up, of course, but such is life. So I want to show you a few things that I've bought this month. Um, I did have a bit of a splurge, I must admit. Um, this is the Living Proof Full Travel Kit, and I have read lots of reviews on this stuff. It's um, thickening and volumising, which is what my hair needs. I've got a lot of hair, but it just doesn't hold volume at all. It's really, really hopeless. Um, and this stuff's meant to be really good, so I bought a set of it to take on holiday. I haven't even opened it yet. Let's open it and see what's inside well, i know what's inside but let's open it and take the things out i get what i'm saying i guess so i've got the shampoo the conditioner and the thickening cream I bought this from marks and spencers online by the way um yeah so i'm looking forward to trying those i'm really hoping that they might help keep a bit of volume on, in my hair on holiday because quite often when i'm in a very um, humid climate my hair is just like that which it's pretty much like today anyway so yeah um what else did I buy in the same order I bought a pixie brow endless brow gel pen oh sorry we've got some sunlight going on here you move that way a little bit twist you around a bit and that might help you'll get even more of my packing on the pad but never mind um yeah the endless brow gel pen by pixie um, it comes in different shades. Mine is in light. I have had a quick go with this already. It's very, very soft. That's what it looks like. Pencil. I must remember to take a pencil sharpener with me because I'm taking this on holiday. And that is the colour. It's quite pale. But is that a fair representation? Yeah, that's the colour. It, it is quite pale, but it's perfect colour for me my hair is quite blonde at the moment although it doesn't look like it the way I've got it today but yeah um, and then I discovered a website called Glambot I will link below um, it's basically a place that I've, I've looked at it to start with because it's a place that you can sell lightly used makeup um, I think a lot of the beauty bloggers use it um, it's an American site it is based in America but of course, even though I looked at it because I was interested in selling it, it won't work particularly well because I'm here and is in America and you have to send the stuff in and blah, blah. But of course, I looked at it and they had loads of stuff for sale at bargain prices. And I had a thing for 30% off my first order um, and I just couldn't resist. So I ordered three things. And the first was a MAC palette. You're getting a bit of reflection on that sorry it's the cool neutral eyeshadows there's 15 shades in it i've never used mac eyeshadows before it's an absolute dream i've had this for about three weeks now and it's just so lovely to use i've got it on today i haven't got loads of makeup on today but um yeah i've got this on today but i'm very much a cool neutral person in terms of eyeshadow I go on the cool spectrum you know um those colours suit me much better than the warmer colours and I just love this. Um, such beautiful colours. Really, I'm not going to swatch it all now, but um, yeah, really, really pleased with it. Um, I also bought... 
because if you're ordering from America and paying the postage and packing, you might as well buy lots, mightn't you? This, which is the Laura Mercier, I can't remember what this was called, I don't think it says it, but it was an exclusive to Ulta or Sephora, one of those palettes. Um, and that's it, sorry, let me cover the mirror up. But there are some beautiful colours in that, really, really lovely, again, quite neutral. I really like this because it's all mattes at the bottom and all shimmers at the top and that's a perfect mixture for me. I often find that palettes don't have enough matte colours in. This I could make so many different looks out of just by itself. In fact, I might take this one on holiday with me. This might be my holiday palette. Don't know yet, but yeah, really love that. And then the third thing I bought was this, which is Bobbi Brown Pink Cheek Palette which is just lovely. It has two blushes and a highlighter. Highlighters in the middle and they're all lovely and they blend beautifully and yeah, really, really nice. I'm so pleased with all three of those. So it was worth a little splurge. I think I have a referral code for Glambot. So I'll link that below if you want to use that to sign up and go and have a look or uh, whatever. Um, yeah, I will do that. Right, that is it for this month's. How have I talked for 17 minutes? I thought I would do a really quick, <laughs> you know, whiz through the empties. I really felt like I went quickly through the empties and then I didn't have many, anyway, whatever. I don't know how I've managed to, to take this long, but I hope you enjoyed it guys and I'll see you again for more empties next month. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.